Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than nine years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my Thursday Tips blog, my DVDs, books, virtual learning, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's feeling like you're missing out on all the fun, you can easily join our wonderful world of guitar with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day program at marlenesmusic.com. Subscribe, follow, and invite your friends to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. Now, on to today's tip. Today's tip is Women's History Month, Three More Groundbreaking Female Guitarists. In last week's episode, I began a series, Groundbreaking Female Guitarists, in honor of Women's History Month. Continuing with the series, I have three more amazing and talented women to share with you. Do you know someone who would like to play guitar? Be sure to share my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course with them. It's now easier than ever to start playing guitar right away. Do you or someone you know already play guitar and want to expand your abilities? My Lesson of the Month Club helps guitar players learn new skills each and every month. The links for both are in the show notes and on my website, marlenesmusic.com. In today's episode, I'll share the backgrounds and standout guitar playing skills of Bonnie Raitt, Nancy Wilson, and Joni Mitchell. Bonnie Raitt is a blues singer, guitarist, and songwriter who is known for her series of albums released in the 1970s that incorporated elements of rock, folk, and country music. She was also a frequent session player and collaborator with artists including Warren Zevon, Jackson Brown, the Pointer Sisters, John Prine, and... Leon Russell. In 1989, she had a major commercial hit with the album Nick of Time. Then, in 1991, came the Luck of the Draw album, and in 1994, the Longing in Their Hearts album, generating hit singles like Something to Talk About, Love Sneaking Up on You, and I Can't Make You Love Me. She's won 10 Grammy Awards and has also received the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. In Rolling Stone magazine, she's listed as one of the 100 greatest singers of all time and one of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time. While her roots are in acoustic guitar, she tends to play more electric guitar because of the sound variances she can create. She's known to play most of her music in open A or open G tuning. And her stylings include using a glass slide when playing. Nancy Wilson is a musician, singer, songwriter, producer, and film composer. She rose to fame alongside her sister Anne as the guitarist and backing vocalist in the rock band Heart. Raised in Seattle, she began playing guitar as a teenager, and then during college, she joined her sister who had recently become the singer of Heart, which is the first hard rock band fronted by women. Heart released numerous albums in the late 1970s and the 1980s, including Dreamboat Annie and Little Queen, which generated chart singles including Magic Man, Crazy on You, and Barracuda. The band Heart has sold over 35 million records. 
Nancy Wilson has been praised for her guitar playing and is noted for blending elements of flamenco and classical guitar with hard rock. She is ranked among the top 10 female guitarists of all time and is known for bringing rock music to life with her steel string acoustic guitar playing. She also plays electric guitar as well. Nancy is an accomplished singer in her own right, with vocal credits on such hits as Hearts, These Dreams, which became their first number one single on Billboard Hot 100. She was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2013. Joni Mitchell is a Canadian-American singer, songwriter, and guitarist who has drawn her inspiration from folk, pop, rock, classical, and jazz music. Some of her early influences came from the 60s folk scene. Her songs often reflect social and philosophical ideals, as well as her feelings about romance, womanhood, disillusionment, and joy. She's known for her acoustic guitar music, but in the late 1970s began incorporating an electric guitar into her performances. Joni began writing her songs in standard tuning, but soon branched out to using or developing 51 alternate guitar tunings to create her unique music. Some of her original songs include Chelsea Morning, Both Sides Now, and Big Yellow Taxi. She has received nine Grammy Awards and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997. Rolling Stone called her one of the greatest songwriters ever. All Music said... When the dust settles, Joni Mitchell may stand as the most important, influential female recording artists of the late 20th century. And in 2017, NPR ranked her 1971 album, Blue, as number one on its list of greatest albums made by a woman. If you'd like to see videos of these amazing women playing guitar, don't fret, haha. Ha. You can find the links on my Thursday Tips blog at marlenesmusic.com. And who knows, perhaps their innovative playing styles will inspire you to play some of their songs or create your own. Next week, I'll feature three more influential, groundbreaking female guitar players. So stay tuned, and that includes your guitar, and to my podcast show. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on.